Hello, thank you for joining me. So in this video, I'd like to show you how to do a doorknob. Uh, what we're going to be doing with the doorknob is uh, we're going to draw a profile on a plane that's going to intersect right at this hole. And we're going to draw a profile of that plane, and then we're going to do a revolved uh, feature with that. We haven't done any revolved features yet, so let me show you how to do that. So let's do this. We're going to go ahead and uh, create some reference geometry. So if you go to your feature tab, scroll all the way over here to reference geometry. We're going to go to point, or not point, but plane. We're going to pick plane, and it gives us three references we could choose from. We're going to be able to define it within two references, but we need to find, uh, we need to be able to find that sketch that um, shows us where that doorknob is. So we're going to use the center of that sketch, which is a circle, and we're going to be able to use that up as a point with our right plane to make those parallel to each other. So let me show you how to do that. So we're going to go ahead and um, find that sketch, our doorknob cut. We're going to go ahead and open that up in our uh, Future Manager flyout. We're going to, uh, it's already showing. So what we need to do is go do the global change. We're going to unselect that, by the way. Go to view. We're going to make sure our sketches are turned on. And now we do have the center point of that circle selected. So let's do this. For our first reference, we're going to pick a right plane. Second reference, we're going to pick this point here. And it should be parallel, so we're going to look at a coincident down here, parallel up here, and go to green check mark. So we're going to call this right plane two. And of course, this fillet is going to be called the window fillet two. By the way, let's go ahead and change out while we're here, just to be correct. Okay, so that's our right plane two. On that right plane two, let's go ahead and sketch. Click on right plane two. Go to sketch. Go to sketch. And uh, let's make this normal too. Oop, wrong one. Let's flip that around. Let's make that normal too in the other direction. One more time. That way we can see what we're doing here. And let's do this. Instead of having uh, the shaded with edges showing, we go to our dis display style. Let's go to uh, hidden lines visible. So now we can see where the doorknob is going to be. So we want to draw a profile in here of uh, as it goes through that hole. And then we're going to be able to revolve that around that. So first thing we're going to do is go to a center line. Oh, come on. Let's put the center line through the middle here. Let's make this and that point to that center line. Let's make those coincident with each other. So now it's right down the middle. Now let's go ahead and draw our profile. Again, let's go back to normal too. So we're going to draw one side, and then we're going to extrude it over. So probably right here would be a, a good place to put a uh, line right down the middle. We're also going to put a, uh, a center line right down the middle here too, so we have uh, so we know where this thing stops. And then we can just mirror it over the, on the other side. Let's take, select a midpoint of that uh, line. Select this uh, horizontal line. Let's make them coincident with each other. So what we're going to do is we're going to draw one side, mirror it over the other side as a sketch element, and then revolve the whole thing. So let's do this. Let's go ahead and taper this down. Whatever you want to do in regard to your design is up to you. And at this point I'm going to go ahead and draw a circle and I'm going to uh, cut the circle in half. And give that a specific distance away from perhaps that center line. So maybe uh, two and a half inches. Maybe a little bit more. Maybe 2.75. Again, these choices are up to you. I'm going to go to Trim Entities. Trim that out. Uh, our circle should have a specific diameter perhaps uh, two inches. So that's fully defined. We could define this. We're putting a dimension on there, maybe make that one inch thick. We could put a uh, uh, angular dimension in this, 135, which is 45 degrees off in that direction. And then it looks like it's uh, fairly fully defined, fairly well defined. So with my Trim Entities tool, I'm going to trim out that portion of the circle and then trim this out too, because what we want is continuous geometry. Okay, we're going to mirror this. So we're going to select the chain and select this with our control key to press and go to mirror entities and we're going to put it on the other side. And then we're going to go to features, revolve boss base, and it says here the sketch is currently open, a non-thin revolution feature requires a closed sketch, would you like the sketch to be automatically closed? And that's going to be yes. So what it's going to do, it should do, is it should put a line right down the middle of this and then it's going to revolve that around. So. Uh, axis of revolution is going to be this uh, midpoint or this uh, center line. 
And it kind of gives us a partial preview, but for some reason it's not picking up our uh, hemicircle. So let's see if this actually completes itself. And we're going to uh, make sure that we're not going to do a merge result in this thing because we want to apply it, just like the window, a different uh, material to it. And go to green check mark. And yeah, it does go all the way around. So I'm pretty pleased about that. So let's go back to our uh, views, our display style, and go back to shaded with edges. And let's pick a different uh, color for this thing. So our revolve, we're going to call this door knob. Sorry for the slow typing. And now we have uh, three different uh, elements in here. We have three different bodies, window, door, and doorknob. So if we click on doorknob, go over here to our uh, scenes and uh, materials. Let's go ahead and pick a, a scene. All right, let's not uh, pick a, a scene. Let's go ahead and pick a material. So let's go ahead and do uh, perhaps uh, a brass. Polished brass, perhaps. And this will also look good in the photo real renderings we're going to be doing next week. And that looks good to me, so let's double click on that. And now we have ourselves a shiny brass doorknob on our door. So our uh, display style should be shaded with edges. We can take our plane and hide that plane by right clicking on it and telling it to hide. And now we're in pretty good shape. We also probably want to turn off our sketches too. So there's our door with a shiny new brass doorknob. Okay, that's all I wanted to show you. Uh, meet me for some other films.